We've got Olivier Grant and Sarah Watzner, who are from the Science Center, and also Alexi Rambo. There we go. You can see that Rambo move over there. Nice. That's good. That's good. Who is a, a, a PhD student in physics at uh, Sherbrooke University, and they are going to do the science of levitation. Let's have a great round of applause for the folks from the Montreal Science Center. Thank you, Eddie. Hi, everyone. Um, so yes, we're going to talk about levitation, but first, a big round of applause for Sarah. She's been levitating for 15 minutes now. You see that? It's amazing. It's been years she's practicing this to get this level of concentration, and now she's that good. Now, raise your hand who believes that she's truly levitating. Right. Bunch of scientists lacking of magic. Okay. Uh, Sarah, come and join me. No, we, we won't fool anybody here. So you see the trick, it's a chair really, and it's just an illusion. But today, we're gonna see if we can do better than that. Am I right? Just some feedback. Is it you? Okay, Might be. anyway, moving on. Uh, so, uh, yeah, nobody believes me, nobody bought it after all that. You're right, they're, they're scientists. Yes, but can you, can you do something, do you, can you do, levitate some objects? Are you able to do I that? I can use science to levitate objects. Really? Yeah, I want to yeah, see that. I Challenge can, accepted. Let's that. see what I you can, can do. do Maybe you should start with a light object for, for, okay. at first. Maybe a uh, right. water vapor. Could you do that? Yeah, I know it's light, but Alexi is a, he doesn't believe not, in Sarah at all. Not a problem at all. I'm going to get some water vapor with my dry ice and my water over here. See, I tilt it, goes straight down. But over my magic levitation tank. <laughs> okay, yep. yeah, yeah, it kind of yep. uh, levitates, but uh, can you yeah. do it with heavier objects? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get much heavier things uh, levitating in my tank. Like um, what? Bubbles. Oh, bubbles come on, are Sarah. heavy. Bubbles. Yeah, That's yeah, not yeah. really heavy, is it? Okay, let's Come on, bubbles let's see are heavy. Oh. Bubbles are heavy. Bubbles. All right. <laughs> Oh. See? It's, they are bouncing. See? Yeah. yeah, bounce straight off. Normally, head straight to the ground. Not in my tank, though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, bubbles are heavier, but uh, can you do it with a real solid object? A real solid object. Well, I can get anything levitating in my tank over here. So, let's try this out. A boat. Ooh, Not no, a that's problem. Impressive. Anything at all I wow. can get levitating. Excellent. Oh, for, for a little while. For a little while. while. <laughs> a little while. You know, it's science. Uh, not everything works perfectly, but you, you everybody saw it, right? It's still yeah. levitating, right? Yeah, now, yeah, yeah. Let, 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 give me your trick. I can't stand it anymore. How, how can it work? Okay, what's actually inside this tank is sulfur hexafluoride. It is five times heavier than air. It looks like there's nothing in there. In reality, it's filled with this gas that helps things levitate. She can do anything levitate. A big round of applause for Sarah. I'm impressed. Anything. Well done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Anything. Anything. Come on, you just make some bubble float and maybe a boat and some vapor. That's pathetic. Maybe oh, just it was, it was some, that was some heavy stuff. This is a little tiny magnet. Maybe you could do this. Go ahead. Can you do it? No. Well, I don't have to. I just showed that I got so many things levitating. You, you guys believe me, right? I don't you have believe to believe it anymore. See it. You want to see it? Yeah. All right. Go ahead, Sarah. You I, want our choice? I have to. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It it'll float. It'll levitate. Oh, not happening. Okay, but but that's not possible. Uh, even even uh, you can't get magnets levitating. That's okay. Let's try nobody this can one. do it. Oh, that's a big one. Okay. No let's way. Try it. No way. Oh. Oh, this one works. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, whoa. There's no magic in this. It's pure physics. Basically, you have some superconductor which is beneath the magnet. And a superconductor is a material which, when it's cold enough, is going to repel magnetic field. Hence the magnet. Okay, so in this case, you can see the magnet is levitating. We can try also something else with this magnetic rail. You can't really see it, but there's some blade with magnets on it. I'm going to put a superconductor on it, and you're going to see what happens. Mm. So it was pretty well too, you can even play with it a little. At some point it's just going to fall out, like this. Why? Because it's going to warm up thanks to the air around it, okay? 
So now let's do something better. We're going to use this cup, and I put the superconductor at the bottom of it. Okay. So the cup is just used as a reservoir for liquid nitrogen. And in that case, I can still take this piece, and this is floating. And which is good, it's, it's where this way, or this way, or this way. I no, still no, no, win. No. I haven't shown that here because it's a bit difficult. But basically, you can use the same trick to make some skateboarder and a skateboard levitate. So Nexus has done that quite recently with a, a magnetic uh, a skate park, okay, and uh, some skateboard filled with superconductors in liquid nitrogen. And you can even use some magnetism and something similar to this to make a train float, like uh, the Shinkansen in Japan. So, okay, Alexi, uh, you win. A big round of applause for real invitation, pure science. Alexi, thank you very much. Eddie, do we still have a minute or two? Excellent. Because while we have this gas, maybe we should have fun and do most out of it, right? So I need two volunteers, and I think I have chosen you guys. Come up here. Yes. Come on stage. Yes. You can applaud them. Really courageous. They don't have a choice in a way, but... Hi. <laughs> and right here next to me, and Roy, to my right, please. Now, what's your name? Roy. Thank you. And? Katie. Katie. I can, do you know each other? Yeah. yeah? Are, you a, are you a couple? Yeah. No? Do you, do you have a, a boyfriend back home? Yeah? Sort of? Okay. And you have a married. Married. Okay. You know that I read recently that 66% 66 of people going in Congress are cheating. That's amazing. That's a lot. I don't know why I'm telling you that, but anyway. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll give you a sense. Do you, do you speak French? That. No? <laughs> <laughs> I keep the mic right. Uh, so, um, uh, you, you, you don't know French, do you? Okay, so repeat after me. Vous êtes très joli. Vous êtes très joli. Lovely accent, isn't it? Again? Vous êtes très joli. Do you know what you're saying? It's better that way. Okay. And you're going to say, um, uh, voulez-vous prendre un verre? Again, maybe, voulez-vous prendre un verre? Voulez-vous prendre un verre? Oh, that's really seducing. Okay, um, now, <laughs> you're, we're going to do that again. You remember your sentence, but you're going to inhale this, and you're going to say, vous êtes très joli, and you're going to inhale this, and uh, you're going to drink uh, the beaker, yeah. And, yeah. Treasure, <laughs> Excellent. I, I think you, you have chances. Voulez-vous prendre un verre? Voulez-vous prendre un verre? Oh, yes. So, what did you say? You said that she's really great looking, very sexy. No, no, I'm kidding. You said very, very good looking. And you said, uh, do you want to go for a drink tonight? So, I think that something is happening right here, don't you think? Like, Maybe you can exchange room number or whatever. It's up to you. But um, thank you. A big round of applause. And it smells like there's a wedding coming on. Instead of throwing confetti, we're going to throw balloons. But balloons with the gas. So you can feel the weight. All right. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Let's hear it one more time for Alexi Sarah Olivier from the month. Montreal Science Center, very cool. Let me feel one of those balloons. Those are, this is cool. That is very cool. All right. Nicely. Uh, oh, this reminds me of like, some concerts I used to go with all the balloons going like that. It's like, uh, it's like a flashback that I'm having.